If you don't have to pee, you will by the end of this video, and you'll be strangely impressed by it. Anthony here for D News. I'm a mammal. Are you a mammal? There are some easy ways to check. Uh, are you a vertebrate? Are you warm blooded? Do you have hair on your body? Do you pee for roughly 21 seconds at a time? Yeah, that's a thing. A team from the Georgia Institute of Technology just discovered a universal law of mammal urination. They took video of rats, dogs, cows, and elephants, and then found internet footage of a bunch of other mammals urinating, which just goes to show that if you can think of it, there's a fandom for it. And the comparison showed that no matter what the mammal, no matter what the size, we're looking at a mean time of about 20 seconds and a range of 20 to 40 seconds for it to relieve itself. So, okay, how does this work? Say you've got a dog with a bladder of one liter and an elephant with a tank of 100 liters. Why would it take the same amount of time for them both to pee? Do not worry, because the team created a mathematical model of mammal urinary systems based on mass, bladder pressure, and urethra size. Academia. The link to width ratio of the urethra was found to be nearly constant among all the animals studied. Elephants have urethras that are about 10 centimeters in diameter and about a meter long. If that was a pipe, you could beat a zombie to death with it. So they've got a much higher flow rate than a rat that has a urethra that's only one and a half millimeters wide. In a rat, the speed doesn't build up, the flow is slower, and you wind up with two very different animals taking very similar amounts of time to relieve themselves. In case you're wondering, that elephant is urinating 1.5 gallons of liquid a second. That's 31.5 gallons in 21 seconds. That's like a garden hose on full blast. I cannot imagine a kitten doing that. I mean, I can and it's funny, but it's unlikely to happen. The actual math to this rule is the time a mammal takes to empty a full bladder is proportional to its mass raised to the power of one sixth. The team is hoping that knowing this rule will help vets and zoo staff diagnose urinary problems in large mammals. Are there exceptions to the rule? Very small mammals, rats, this adorable baby bat, they have urethra is about a millimeter and a half in diameter and gravity has very little effect on their stream. Since they have such small amounts of liquid, it comes out with more surface tension and they pee in these adorable little baby drops and they're done in a second. Also, you should know that this study has not been extended to humans yet. I guess because the footage of people peeing on the internet usually comes with a monthly membership fee. Maybe we can all run our own tests. Just FYI, I clocked 19 seconds after my coffee this morning. Feel free to share if you want and subscribe for more D News.